Hi there. Welcome to another video. Um, in this one, we're going to be talking about some of the things that keep us from flying. Um, I'm not sure uh, what kind of things keep you from flying uh, where you live, but for me, one of the big problems for about half the year is extreme cold. Uh, I woke up this morning and it was minus 44 degrees Celsius, and it's been like that for about a week, and it looks like it's going to stay that way for at least another week. And that's just the first time it'll happen this winter. That happens several times over the course of the winter where I live here in, uh, in Saskatchewan. And so what I thought I would do is um, a little keep me from flying test. When you buy FPV gear, they'll always come with uh, temperature ratings on them. You know, works from minus 10 until plus 40. Well, I thought I'd put that to the test today. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my, some of my FPV gear that I have here. Um, put it into a bag and put it outside and let it sit out there for about half an hour until it, uh, I was going to say until it bakes, <laughs> until it freezes uh, at minus 40. And then I'm going to go outside and uh, see if I can get it to work and see if it can actually function if I wanted to. I don't want to go flying in minus 40. Trust me, that's just nuts. But if I wanted to, would my gear actually work in that kind of temperature? So what I've got here are um, my Skyzone Cobra X goggles, which work fine for me because I have glasses, nice pair of goggles. I don't know if they work well in the cold. I've got my Jumper T16 radio, um, which works fine for me. And I've got my um, <coughs> Mobula 7 Hacking Quad that started life as a Mobula 7. I don't think it has a single part left on it except maybe the ducts from the original Mobula 7 but it's my backyard race around, smash around kind of junk whoop. Um, so I'm gonna put that in the bag. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of 1S LiPo batteries. I know what's going to happen to these when they freeze. Um, and of course, the battery that I use for running my goggles. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put this into the bag that I have now misplaced. And yeah, I have misplaced it. Put it outside on my step where it is minus 40 out and i'm going to leave it there for at least half an hour till it's good and frozen and then i'm going to go out put on my own outdoor gear try to fire this stuff up and see if i can actually make this little thing fly around in my backyard even for a minute all right that's the setup let's see what's going to happen in the end All right, out it goes. See what's gonna happen. Hello. Holy crap, it's cold in this room. It's our sunroom, but we don't heat it in the winter. So it's probably a good minus 30 just in this room. All right, going outside. Here we are right outside. Yep, it's winter. And I think that ought to freeze it off. We'll give her half an hour to chill and see what happens. All right, so um, I kind of lied. I said I was going to leave the stuff outside for half an hour, and instead it's been almost an hour. Got caught up with some other things, and uh, well, everything's been sitting outside longer than I had originally planned. And in that time, I've realized a couple of things. Um, first of all, I don't know that my radio or my goggles are actually set up to work with that particular model. I mean, 
it's all set up there. I just don't know if everything's set to to those particular models and channels that I need. So I'm going to have to, first of all, when I get out there, see if everything will start, like the goggles and the transmitter, and then of course plugging in the quad. But then I'm going to have to see if my transmitter is actually connected to the quad and my goggles are actually connected to the FPV feed. So I'm going to have to set those up in the cold, which I'm not really looking forward to. Um, and then I'm going to see if we can actually fly it. Now, I have a pretty good sense that it's not going to fly. Uh, I'd be surprised if those single tiny cells, tiny lipos are able to manage to produce any power in, in this kind of cold, but, but we'll see. Um, and so I'm about ready to head out there. And uh, this is not something I'm really looking forward to. Minus 40 is, is freakishly cold. Um, and, it's, and it's not really safe, actually. So I've got my normal kind of winter gear that I'm putting on. It's just my normal winter jacket. Um, and you can see that this isn't going to affect me. I can still do the flying if I wanted to. But at minus 40, skin will freeze in three minutes if it's not covered. At three, four minutes, your skin starts to freeze. So I can't go out there like this. So I'm going to have to have head protection to protect my ears. Okay, and you can see right away that this is now going to start to play a factor with my goggles. And there is no way that I can go barehanded in that temperature. And at minus 40, something I've lived with most of my life, I would wear at a basic, basic level gloves like these. And there is no way that you could use gimbals with gloves like this on. And this would be the minimum that I would be comfortable wearing at minus 40. Now, what I do have inside of these is a second pair of woolen mitts and they open to produce fingers like gloves. And so what I'm going to try is to fly this way, taking these off for a few minutes. With this on, you know, I'm good for maybe 10, 15 minutes outside, but my hands will get cold. I don't plan on being out there for very long. Minus 40 is really rough, um, but we're gonna do it and we're gonna see what happens come hell or high water. So I'm gonna stop this part and we're gonna get ourselves set up outside. Can you focus on me? Uh, Close yep. enough? Okay. Yep. Yep. All right, well, because of my gloves, I had to get my wife to turn my camera on. Here we go. So the reality of this is, uh, well, I'm in my sunroom here where it's already minus 30. The reality is at this temperature, my camera here, my phone might not last very long in this, uh, in this situation and the gear outside might not last very long. So we'll see what happens. Nothing likes cold. Oh, here's the bag. Let's go see what we can do. I'm not looking forward to this. It is freakishly cold. All right. I hope that this cat captures on there. Because if it doesn't, look at this. Already I've had to go barehanded to get stuff out. Oh no. Well, we'll see if that starts up or not. All right. And this battery, except I forgot the, the cable to connect it. Man, I can't leave my hands out long. Hey, okay, power this up. It started. Power up the... Oh, where's the goggle button here? Power up the goggles. Uh, <laughs> they do not want to start. They're on, but... I can see the word Sky Zone, and then it just dies. Oh, maybe they're on. I'm going to try it. They're, they might be on, actually. Okay, barehanded. This is not fun. Okay, let's see, will this even fire up? Well, my word, it did. Look at that. I did not bring a battery strap for this. I haven't flown this quad in so long. But do I have video? I do not have any video at all. And the goggles quit. There they come back again. Nope, they died. Oh, I got... 
I got gray screen. I'm gonna see if I can. I can't see anything because my that says power off in 10 seconds. So the goggles cannot handle this cold. So that kind of answers that question right there. Now let's just see if this thing will look at that it armed. Only a couple motors spun, but it did go. I don't know how well you guys can see that or not. That's it. It doesn't produce enough juice to to spin all of the motors. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's just see here. I'll arm it. I'll try to arm. Oh, I didn't think I had it on that. Yeah, only one or two of the props and then the battery is just toast. Can't do it. Try again with another battery. Oh man, my fingers are getting cold out here. Well, it booted. <laughs> Can't. One motor, that's all the juice it can provide to spin. That's all it's going, and then it died. Just can't handle that kind of cold. Speaking of which, I kind of can't either. But, let's see here. I have in my pocket a my Mobula 6, which is warm. Let's see if it'll go. Oops. Look at that. Will it even lift off? Sort of. Oh. I don't have goggles, so I can't really fly it FPV style. But. Look at that. Oh. Battery died. <laughs> Try it one more time. All right, let's see if it'll go. Oh, my fingers are cold. Nope. Just can't handle it. And that's one of the reasons flying quads in winter is not so great. One land in the snow and it's full. So that's it for this one. That's it for me and my hands. Holy Christmas are my fingers cold. All right, everything in the bag. Inside we go. Holy, I can't even feel my fingers anymore. Literally. My fingertips are just completely numb. Here we go. Yeah, there goes another dead battery. That's from the transmitter. And those were brand new batteries when I put them in. Fully charged. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, sorry. But that sound is the transmitter telling me that its battery is dead. That's because it's frozen solid. So there we go. Holy. The world's fogging up. up bring out my radio that's what's making all the, the chirping and that chirping is it saying it's got a dead battery but I put in a freshly charged battery just before I took it outside so that's the effect that the cold has on it lithium-ion batteries lithium polymer batteries do not like the cold and that's also the reason why my goggles didn't really work um, they've got a a lipo in here, not a lipo, lithium ion cell in here, and it froze and couldn't provide the juice that the goggles needed. And if I pull these guys out of the, the bag here, as so we saw, it would fire up. You could get the, the motors to spin one or two with a cold battery and a cold quad, but it wouldn't fly. It just couldn't handle that kind of temperature. And, and then the little quad that I brought from inside that had snow out of it that had um, that was warm and had a warm battery it could actually take off but it didn't fly for very long before the cold took hold and dropped it out of the sky 
So that's the issue of flying in really, really cold weather. Essentially, a lot of your gear doesn't work. And as you can see, I don't know how well it'll show up on this. Once I brought this inside, it's now all frosted over. There's going to be frost on the inside of it. That'll have moisture and didn't even drop it in the snow. So what I'll have to do now is let this warm up. Probably take two, three hours for any kind of the moisture that's in it to um, evaporate off. And then I could use it again. But right now it's just covered in moisture and frost simply from being outside and then being brought back in. So oh, winter flying uh, certainly has its challenges. And uh, I hope that let you see a little bit of, uh, well, and understand a little bit better about the effect of cold on uh, FPV gear. All right. Thanks a lot for watching this. Oh, if you're still watching, I wanted to tell you about this little boat. Well, keep watching for another moment and you'll learn about this very quickly.